my grandpa's daddy and his daddy and on back was musician from the beginning. Five or six generations. I was the last generation, but I was the only one come through, boy. I bust my way on out, man. The rest of them didn't get to make a record, didn't get to go to no cities and stuff. And I got to go all over the world, and I got to go over all of the United States almost. And I didn't hit the uh, write up no song, the same. I just was singing. And yeah, they come to me, I would just sing. It's like I'm sitting here not talking. I just sang the same way. And boy, I would put out some blue, don't you know? <laughs> be laughing on the outside like I was happy too. But I was worried and crying inside a lot of times. Sure would. I just smiled with the people so wouldn't nobody know what on my mind. And I would and, 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 and think about this getting this getting me a trailer. That's what I was thinking about. Be sitting up there playing. I wasn't big enough to hold it in my lap, you know, and put my arm up. I laid down on the bed and played with fool out there the time. Granddad said, told me if you play what you sang and sang what you playing, then you making music. But if you singing one thing and playing or nothing, you ain't doing nothing. That's what he said. I said, that's the way I do it. I can't play without saying, I can't sing without playing. And when they take your baby, blow back at you just like this. I get a water every year. For five years straight, I was beating everybody playing the blues. And I was getting a reward for it. Mm -hmm. Take me home with your baby. I started playing the jitter bow when I was 11, and I played it till I got 21, and then I started picking guitar when I was 8, but I liked my jitter bow, and I can think of a lot of fun on the jitter bow. Why, why do you like to play this instrument? Well, it, it, uh, it makes good music for one. And it's so odd from anything else, just one string. And I like the way it sounds. And uh, it just, I just like to play it. Because I like to pick guitar and I like to play the ditty boat. I like to make any kind of music. And so that's music, that's what I love. Jumbo, bamboo, jumbo, jumbo, bingo. Oh, I like them cars, but they're too little for me. I like a Pontiac or a Cadillac. I don't know nothing, no, I don't like nothing black but a Cadillac, nothing green but a, a green roll of money. Oh, God, you sure don't know what you're saying, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Some means it's terrible, some is good, but that the preacher said it's hard to find a good man, it's hard to find. 
And so I don't look and look and my good man, I hear he dead. And they don't need me looking for them no cause I, I got one out of a thousand. <laughs> and so that's all I ever will do with me. I ain't gonna live nobody else like that. I couldn't have any had no man. It don't matter about that. See that dear girl them take from the tree? He's gonna take advantage of you and you should let him get away. He did he did it. I think he had almost two hundred something dollars. They didn't want to find him. Yeah. They want this out that bag, they like my granddad said. When somebody wants something real bad, they'll kill you to get it. They can't say it about three years before he gave us a lot. Oh, you need to give your deed. He can draw the income tax over. Have you went to the courthouse? You court can't house? draw your one because you ain't got no deed. Have you went to the courthouse to see how Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to the courthouse. Thank you so much. Uh, if I was like I was, if I was worthy like I was, I done, I done got everything straightened out, y'all. <laughs> and somebody have been dead. That's what I thought. I've been looking pretty all my life. <laughs> <laughs> Them signal dresses and signal shoes and signal hats and things. I love to wear that. Silver and gold, I love to wear that. You want me to be happy to buy me some silver and some gold? Uh, I had a solid gold dress and one solid silver dress. I used to wear it when I go play. See, when I, when I wouldn't, my hair was long, I wouldn't fix my own hair. I'd get me a, some kind of wig and throw up there. You don't have time to be trying to style your own hair. You have to put a wig on your head and go head on out on the stage. It takes, take, it help you get jobs. Cause if you're looking regular, ain't nobody gonna hide you to play nowhere. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, not strong enough. I done swung till my tongue done got tired. I done give out. You don't know the other your song? No. The other was a long time. Mm, I, I swung the other, don't forget deal. I don't forgot, I don't forgot the first record I made. I bet they know it. I bet you they know it. Mm -hmm, they know it, they know it, they know it. <laughs> that record about that in the way crying. I don't know them boys in it. Come back, baby. Come back, baby, yeah. Oh, come back, baby. Please don't go.
I got some people that helped me get me a trailer in New York. And uh, I, I used to stay in this and here, but I don't even hit no more. So I got me a new big trailer now, and I live in Happy in hit. Well, he done me pretty good. It lasted 12 years more. So I'm ready. I done put it down now, though. And I'm going to sell that old Lincoln to a modern brother. I'm going to sell that trailer to a, the trailer lot. They was angels because wasn't nobody else would have did it. And I know God saw them because they, they didn't know me enough to do that. But they did come, so God was, they was God angels. He thought to help me get to home. And they's coming back again. And we're going to get some land and put the trailer on it. Y'all didn't get him? Uh, we couldn't get him out, you know. He had to be a family, you know. Oh. We get him out. I'm glad that. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Ain't going too bad. Oh, yeah. Man, you and baby, what's up? Playing them And when I was young, and I mean, I was a young man when I first started. Oh, whoa, whoa. But I, you know, I, 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 you know, I never did, you know, go down. But we can't, we still can't you with us. Yeah. You I was, I was young a drummer. Pop, you were beating them drums. Yeah, I though. was a drummer. You know, I thought when I was 17. Yeah. yeah. I got a birthday tomorrow, I'll be 50. Oh. If I live to see it, I, you know, I appreciate the Lord for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't mm. never. Uh, Forget about that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, 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 oh. Back together, cause you know what? Yeah. Back then, it was good time. Sure was. It was good time. Well, yeah, look like it, yeah, man. I'm, I mean, I'm having a good time now. I know. I'm sitting on my roof. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm enjoying it now more than I was then. Days, and we, we feel like we was a family people back then. Did we, Dave? Yeah. Yeah. It was a pretty good time. Man. I made several trips. Yeah, he told me. He different told festivals. Me. No, Abe Young, he went to Berlin, Germany, up in Sweden. <laughs> I ain't scared of that plane. If no time come, he's going in now. <laughs> it, it, ever since I played with Jesse, Jesse always been the same Jesse. And I call him Ted, someone call him Abe Young. We ain't never got into, you know, by playing stuff, but Jesse, me, and her, and David, we always been. The yeah, same poison as you see us. Uh, we, we, we ain't never got but beside ourselves, like warm, <laughs> pretend, and more on it. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm this, I'm poor. I ain't got nothing. This is my mama. I always call Jesse my mama. From the day I leave here, Jesse will be my mama. Hey, you had to do it, didn't you? So I can do it. Oh, oh, oh. 
baby. Who put? The man the pup. Wait, who put? Well, she dead. It is. She dead. All of them dead, but then no children. This my children. That's my children. The dog is my all of my children. My little dog. Yes, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Doing all we, all we want to get this shot going. Yeah. Yeah. Get the shot going. Shot going to no young so well. I got a big shot going now. Shoot four times, pump going. I got a, I got a shot going shoot four times now. Where's that guy? And I shoot it four times, boy. And I be blowing heads off and butts off. And they be going, man. Says I try to see my baby. Six bees in the ground. And uh, keep on messing up on me.
shot through my guitar, you know, and I wish you see the guitar. Oh, I shot through the guitar case and went through the guitar and through the national. <coughs> Knocked me in on my radio. Radio said that still playing. Well, who were you shooting at that? Somebody out there. I don't know. I saw something at the women. Well, I guess they went away after that, huh? Oh, uh, I ain't with no more. I ain't with nobody else. Oh, boy. Yeah. What about your guitar? Can you still play it? Yeah, I did what I could then. Mm -hmm. He just came, he shot it through the back, back hood. Mm -hmm. Who are you shooting, a 38? Yeah. That's the one? Yeah, I shot it. Knocked the boot out of it. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. Oh, <coughs> my goodness. I mean, you sure the heck is, didn't you? Yeah, you didn't bother the neck at all. One of them break my neck up there on them, but I didn't. Oh. It just went through there and I got up and tried to play it. He went to still playing. I said, oh, my Lord. I guess you can still play it. Still play it. I just need to be ready to go with it. There you go. Yeah. But I ain't ready to go with it. So, so I'm just sitting here. Yeah. But I'll be all right after a while. Napoleon the one started me with David. I didn't know nothing about David. But Napoleon told me, we, me and my old man would go up there, me and my boyfriend, would go up to Napoleon's house all the time on the Saturday, Friday. And Napoleon told me about David. He said, just me, you ought to be up here, girl, and play your song. You might make a record, girl. Girl, come on up here. He going to come Saturday night. You ought to come up here Saturday night. I said, well, we'll come up here. We won't be doing nothing. I told me and Dave, me and our concert went up there. And David came. And I made that record about standing in the doorway crying. I played that for David. And he recorded. And that, was, that, that went like a hot cake. So I played Boogie all night long. Boogie, baby. I made that. Hey, like the boogie. Think about, I went to try to make more songs, and, and I just went to making up songs and making songs, just writing, them, just writing, writing. And so I, I just get them all to David in '79. That was in '78. In '79, we went to the studio and 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 made my made the album in '79 or something. Thank you. 
where I go, baby. I'm gonna get up where I go. I'm gonna buy me a claw that go, baby. I've been pushing at the claw that go, baby. I've been teaching at the draw that hole. In the day one, it saved my soul. Baby. Yeah, I couldn't take another, another voice. Want to try to do that again? What? It's just oh, as good on, as it be. It again. No, ain't it good? No, no y'all think I got brain hood out of the door. Can you remember the thing when I was. Crawling on the floor, I guess. And I can't. Try so much that went through my head. Ain't no way I can plaster y'all without all these songs. I can give you some verses in it, but that's all. I can't think of all of them. How, how, how come you, you sing that song about the crawdads? My aunt used to go to fish and she made me catch them crawdads with a little old pen. And I thought they were fishes. And my granddaddy about it, she go, she kept me down there with her and catch crawl that. And I would catch them crawl that, you know. And he he, he sung the song to me one day, song about the crawl that hole. And ever since that, I've been singing crawl that hole. Allen to granddad in, in 42 in Sledge. And I didn't even know nothing about it because I was up beyond in Memphis somewhere with my daddy. And Alan made that record, that tape, that whatever, you know, uh, uh, said eight. And he sent me a thousand dollars one time. And that's a long time. And the next time he sent me four thousand dollars for granddaddy. And that was a long time. And that's been a long time. I, I did get five thousand dollars out of it. Out of my granddad and my auntie, he did, Alan did do better than a lot of them. He sure did. Yeah. Anything I say, my granddad would play. Anything I hear, I go back and tell my granddad, let's play it, granddad. If it sound good, it sound good to him. He say, get your guitar, get your guitar. I'm going to get the filler. And he'll go get the filler and then tune up, tune up the guitar. And I was little, she still, we sat there and play it, whatever it was. Whatever it was, whatever kind of blues it was, and I was learning to them. Because I learned them off the vendor, and I know them was good songs, and I come on and learn them to my granddaddy, and he'd play them. And that's the way we get so many songs off the vendor that I hear on the vendor playing. Mm -hmm. And then he had songs so many he had made his own self. About Mr. Carey Train and Straight Home Mob and, when was that? and I don't know whether granddaddy daddy told him or he all uh, he they did it while he was coming up. But they they would kid you come from anywhere you come, you come through crayon. Your 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 head was gone, buddy. They kill you and then chop your head off like you're a rabbit. Didn't like you in there. Didn't like you to come through. And what was say on two little stores, girl? And the two little stores sitting on that side of the road. And they didn't want no black folks to pass them two little stores. And come through there. And now folks stopping there buying stuff. And I said, I wouldn't buy nothing here if they were sitting it out in the street. But granddad told me about them folks. Mm -mm. I don't want to know about it. Hey, 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 my daddy folks was Indian, was one color kind of Indian, and my mama folks was another kind of Indian. I ain't got no nigga in me. I ain't got no nigga in me. I ain't got no nigga in me. If both families were like that, what else could I be? Got me wrong, baby. 
done me wrong You mistreated me with my home You drove me from my home Now you done gone back Gone back to your youth I know you didn't want me, baby When you laid down across my bed You were drinking that old Crown Royce Talking all out your head Now you done gone back Gone back to your YouTube Wouldn't give me no money wouldn't buy me no clothes Wouldn't give me no money Wouldn't buy me no clothes Now you done gone back Gone back to your used to be It's all right It's all right It's all right I'm tell you one thing, baby, that you can't do. You can't love me, baby, and some other woman too. Now you can go on back, go back to your used to be. It's all over, baby. The thrill is gone It's all over, baby The thrill is gone Now you can go on back Go back to your YouTube That's all right That's all right That's all right I hear they call me Bill. And Miss May said, Woo, what's the matter with the baby? Mom said she got the hooping call. Well, what was that my grandmama gave you? And she said, some mare milk. I'm going to get these houseboys to milk that mare and save her a quarter of that milk. And boy, I fooled my mama. And I got, <laughs> and I got well with the hooping call. Miss May, that milk was so good. Till I fooled my mama. I said, mama, I be coughing you know, like I'm out of breath. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mama said, <laughs> Mama said, thought you were well. I said, I ain't quite well yet, Mama. I need some more milk. Yeah. <laughs> I was already well. What, did you put sugar in it? Or just uh -huh, it was sweet like coconut, like milk come out of coconut. Oh. That male milk room. No, they got but two titties. Well, why, what does that mean? Why did people used to eat dirt? Man, dirt is good. It's good for you because we made out of dirt. But I know they'd go and get some clay dirt and they'd eat it. I eat dirt too. I used to eat dirt like a pig. I had I, me a, a, a cup full of dirt all the time. I kept a cup full of dirt. I never didn't know why it was good. It was just good. That's all. It just tasted good. I mean, what did it, wasn't it, it didn't it help some heal something? Yeah, I ring so. I don't know. But that's one, one thing I never could eat, my grandmother would eat. She said, oh, come on, honey, try this. This is delicious. Mm. I said, what is it? She said, hog brains and eggs. Oh, my and I God. said, uh-uh, I can't eat that. <laughs> and uh, what about a possum? Oh, man, mama and them eat them things. I wouldn't eat a possum shit. I didn't have nothing to eat. <laughs> I wouldn't eat no possum. I'd go in the cemetery down in there and eat dead folks. Oh. They sure go in the ground eating the dead folks in the cemetery. Cause you see the hole where they go down the graveyard and go in there. And old man used to be up there stay with us named Charlie Doug. And uh, he used to go out hunting possum at night. He'd go in the cemetery and lay wait on them possums. Sometimes he'd come have a sack of possum. Ooh, and I'd get so mad cause he'd bring all the most stinking possums. 
I bet you do about died in a, in a, in a cemetery waiting on some possum. I bet, I bet, I believe that's what he did. <laughs> hey! I know when saw that mama hit that record, I told him somebody got it. Dig my grave with a silver That's my dearest sweet mother. Is gone on in the glory land. And when I get there, we're going to shout all over Beulah Land. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, we waiting now, we waiting now. We been waiting on Mazaya. Messiah come. When Messiah come, he'll take me back to where she is. Cause he coming back. Mm-hmm. He sure coming back. He said he would. This young book don't never lie. Whatever he said, it will be done. That's why I love to read this book. The magazines and all that stuff got all that and them lies in there just to make money. This book here don't care if it make money or not. It does what it said. Better get your soul right. Don't even gonna burn in here and you be saying, Jesse hand me a little drink of water, Lord, just to cool my burning tongue. It's burning me and tormenting me. And he'll be so hard. I said, yeah, can't give you no water, boob. I couldn't come down there and give you no water. That'd be bad. <laughs> yeah. I know that this going to sell better than anything you ever sold in your life. It's going to make a war butcher of money. going to make you funky rich. Mm-hmm. I hope you and the children all be happy. And and, and, and and that's God's word. He said it. And God don't lie. Just like you mistreat somebody, you're going to get mistreated. Can't you understand that? You're going to reap at your soul. Did you thought you wasn't? Well, you th do you think you're living here on your own? Just answer that question. You answer me that. You think you living and doing all this stuff you doing on your own? Huh? I don't know what you mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. You think you think God ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't thinking about God. You think you doing all this by yourself, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know I've got some other people to help me. Mm, uh uh, them people ain't helping you none. That's the main objective helping you. If you just believe that. Oh, child, ain't nothing you can do without the Lord. God made you. He made you in his image. And then you're going to turn your back on him and say, you doing things on your own. I just read that a while ago. They, that, they, then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. See, when you're in the flesh, you can't please God. Like the stuff you're doing now and all of that stuff. You ain't pleasing God a bit. Don't think them white folks is more than black folks. God made all of us. He love all of us. And y'all can do what y'all want to do. But you're going to reap what you sow. You can treat the black folks the way you want them. But ain't nobody going to mistreat me. I don't care if it's white as snow. But do I will get my third aid and shoot you. And do I will ask God to forgive me for it after I do it. And so if you forgive me, I shall do it.
Lord, how am I going to prove me? My baby love to come. Lord, how am I going to get up there? I'm going to die at home. I ain't got no good. I don't make this up. Why? Because I can't make it. The women always keep me all wrong sometimes. Oh my God! When you ready, Dad?
You got to stay on this side of the fence or either get on the other side. You can't, uh, you can't, uh, 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 uh live both lives. You can't live worldly life and Christian life. You got to live one of them or else nail one of them. So I don't decide what I'm going to do. And that's what I'm going to do. I ain't got rich over no blues. And what I want to keep on saying the blue for? I ain't got rich off of them. I ain't got no big land and stuff. I ain't got a spot of land. Shit, and then what I'm going to keep on saying them for? I ain't never sang no more. No, no blue. I'm going to sing all the song. They'll get me somewhere. They'll get me a, a place in here. If they don't get no place down here, I will have a home in here. I'm about to kill nobody. I don't want to kill nobody. I just want to live and let live. That's the best I know. What? What? My boy just be what? 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 You got my choo choo. Bow! <laughs> come on, boo. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. My own body. <laughs> 